All right, here we go. So the next section, we're going to look at proportional representations. Uh, we're just going to represent proportions different ways. Just like Mr. Kelly, you can see a couple different representations. We got Karate Kid, Mr. Kelly. We've got in the middle there a festive uh, looking Mr. Kelly. And then on the end there, we've got terrible facial hair, Mr. Kelly. A uh, different way he represents himself. How are we going to represent proportions though? We're going to look at a verbal, like a word problem. Everybody's favorite, some kind of uh, word problem situation. We're going to kind of compare that to a table. We're going to use the equation and then we're going to make a graph and we're going to kind of go back and forth between all these representations. Um, it's going to be awesome. Let's go ahead and do this. Check out the first one. So I gave you this verbal situation here. So here is a verbal. It's just a word problem and it says you've got this middle school uh, selling tickets to a dance. They're going to make uh, money off of each ticket they sell. So T is the number of tickets sold and M is the amount of money they make. So we got our two variables and we're going to figure out what's going on here. So when I look at this, can you tell me what K is? So here's my equation. So we had the verbal. Here's my equation. In this equation, can you tell me what K is? Sure, K is 5. If you don't like M and T because we're using money and tickets, you can easily say Y equals 5X. This is the same thing if you really enjoy the X and Y, but we're going to try to relate it to the context here. So we're going to use M for money and T for tickets. So K is 5. What does that mean? Well, it's $5 every ticket. So with that in mind, can we fill in the table? So of course, here's the table. We did that last section. So if I sell two tickets, just plug two in there. Just plug two in. So the amount of money is going to be five times two, or it's going to be $10. Awesome, what about if I sell 30 tickets? Well, same thing, 30 times five, it's going to be 150. And I, we kinda don't even need the equation for this one, we're just gonna go backwards. So uh, if I had to use the equation, if I wanted to use the equation, I'd say, okay, I made $50, and then I can say, here's 5t, what do I gotta do to both sides? You gotta divide by five to find the number of tickets, but it's gonna be 10. So remember this way, I'm multiplying, this way I'm dividing. So when it's proportional like this, we don't have to use the equation. We can say, oh yeah, 75 divided by five is what? I think that's going to be um, 15. So here are here's my table completed. So you can use the equation to do it. You can use the idea that K is five and do it. I'm cool either way, as long as you can make the connection to the graph over here. So now we're going to graph it. So remember, these are all just points. Two makes 10. So if I come over here, two tickets means $10. So put that dot on there. There's the point, two makes 10. So these are all called order pairs or they're all points um, over here on the graph. So 30 makes 150, eh, not on my graph. I'm not gonna sweat it. I'm not gonna graph 30, 150, but it is a point. 10 makes 50, so go over 10, up 50. I'm gonna put this bad boy on here. So put another dot here. And then what is the last one? 15 makes 75. So 15, follow this up. Just be careful using your scale. It's something like this. So these are all points on there. So all these points from the table are gonna fit on this graph. I can even draw a line through this bad boy if I wanna draw a line through it. It's gonna start, remember, at zero, zero because it's proportional, and it's gonna hit all of those different points. Something like this. I'm gonna make it red just so it fits in there uh, and looks like the points. So there it is right there. Awesome, so if you wanna label all the points on here, you can. Remember from the table, 10 makes 50. And what was the last one? 15 and, and 75. Now the other point would be on there, 30, uh, 150, but I'd have to go way off this graph. Remember this goes on and on forever and ever and ever. So there is a graph of this equation. So really, we just graph this equation. We use the table to help us do it, but really the equation makes this graph. That is so awesome. Can we answer questions? Sure, this is from like the last section. Uh, how much money would they make if they sell 45 tickets? So again, this is T, T equals 45. So plug that bad boy in there. What's the money if I do 45 tickets? Something like this. Um, and then the other one is, how many tickets do they need to sell to make $64? So now, I, this is my money, so this is M. Use that equation, M is 64 equals 5T and solve for T. Let's just have closure on this. What is five times 45? Well, we can type that into our calculator if you wanna uh, double check, if you don't wanna do it by hand. So the amount of money I would need here would be, what was that, 225? 
$225 if I sold 45 tickets. This one, if I'm gonna solve it for T, I'm gonna divide by five. And check this one out, don't freak out. 64 divided by five, I don't think it's friendly. It's gonna be 12.8, so my tickets is going to be 12.8 tickets. So could I really sell that? I don't think somebody wants 0.8 of a ticket. So you have to start to think about, to make 64, they'd actually have to sell 13 tickets. But for this, if I wanna know the, uh, if I could do decimals, there it is right there. Sometimes the decimals just don't make sense with this situation though. That's it, we have a verbal, we have a table, we have an equation, we have a graph, that is this whole section. Let's keep the fun rolling. Will I always give you a verbal? No, in this case, I'm giving you the graph. So I'm, telling, I'm gonna tell you this is proportional. So here's a point, what is this point? It's over eight, up six, so eight makes six. You can use any points you want. I could use this point over here. This point looks like it's over 12, up nine. That's a good point too, or I can use this one over here. Doesn't matter, they're all on the same line. If I drew the line through them, remember it's gonna hit zero, zero. The line's gonna go through all those, so that's proportional, so it's gotta happen like that. So, can we write our equation? Remember our equation is y equals kx. Can we go ahead and find k? Sure, pick any point you want, I don't care, but remember k is y over x, so to find k, I'm gonna take y over x, or in this case, remember it's these points are x comma y, I'm gonna say six over eight. Can I clean that up a little bit? Sure, you can reduce that to three-fourths, or if you're feeling decimally, I don't know if that's a word to feel decimally, you can use that. So I'll leave it as the fraction, three-fourths x, there is my equation. So I want you to be able to look at points on a graph and then give me the equation. What I want you to do now is, is pause it real quick, fill out this table uh, using the equation, using the graph, using whatever you want. Knock that table out for us real quick. Okay, here's the table. Did you get some weird answers in here? Yes, there are some decimals. Uh, that's a bummer. So you really can't make 6.75 shots, but for this equation, if it's always that constant proportion, uh, it's still gonna generate that for you. Same thing here, I can't really shoot or attempt 26.6 repeating shots to make 20. Um, so it will give you decimals, you just have to be careful of the situation. Awesome, did you notice the 12, nine was actually plotted right here? There it is right there, 12 makes nine. Okay, so what does the point eight six mean in this? Well, eight and six, just label them. It means if you have eight attempts, what happens in eight attempts? Well, you're gonna make uh, six shots. You will make six shots. So I may have you label, we did that way back in chapter one, um, the six shots right there. Awesome. Can you give me a verbal? Sure, you can make up somebody's name if you want. You can just use generic you. I'll use you. Huh. Um, so this verbal would be you make, what, three out of every four shots. So this would work. If you were feeling like you wanted to use a decimal, you could even say you make, what, 75% of the shots. If you want to change your decimal to a percent, you can say this person makes 75% of their shots. Something like that, make up a little word situation and you're good to go. Awesome, fantastic. Now let's break it down to the skills. I, no word problems, no situation. Just straight up, can you take an equation and graph it? So let's go ahead and knock this out. Here's my equation. First of all, is this gonna be proportional? If I look at this, no, it's not. Why? Because of this number right here. It's not just straight up y equals kx. If it is plain old y equals kx, it's a yes, but this case has this little plus two. That ruins it. What does that do to our table though? So I'm gonna plug X in there. So if X is zero, what is Y? So plug in, uh, plug in zero there, I love plugging zero in. So here's my equation. Let's clean it up here. So what is one fourth times zero? Well, anything times zero, zero. Add the two, Y is two. So this is two. Let's plug eight in and see what we get. So if I plug in eight, so Y equals one fourth of eight plus two, and then the last one's gonna be, I give you y is three, so I'm gonna say three equals one fourth of x plus two. Now that one's a little bit of work, we gotta solve it. So let's clean this up, what is one fourth of eight? Well, one fourth, fourth goes in there two times, so it's gonna be two plus two, so it's gonna be four. Awesome, so eight makes four. And then now I gotta solve this bad boy. So if I, want, if I know y is three, you have to solve for x. So finding x is always more work. Just subtract two from both sides though, you get one equals one fourth x. Remember how to solve this? To get rid of that divide by four, we are gonna times both sides by four. So we're gonna actually get x equals four. Awesome, 
So four makes three. Once we have these, remember these are all just points, like zero, two is a point. Eight makes four is a point. If you prefer to list them as ordered pairs, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, zero makes two is go over zero up two, put a dot. Go over eight, ooh, just fits. Up four is gonna be here, put a dot. And then the last one over four up three, put a dot. There it is, and this is a straight line. We have that constant rate of change. It just didn't go through the origin though. So it's gonna be something like that. So make sure you can still see those points. That's it, so it's not proportional. It's still lime, it's just not proportional. That's it, we're gonna do it with word problems. We're gonna do it without word problems, equations, graphs, tables. I love it. Good luck on the mastery check. Peace out.